Welcome back to the new video. So, in today's video, we are not only going to enhance your graphics, but also we will be looking at the game textures, animations, vegetations, sounds, vehicles, weapons, characters, roads, better jetpacks, GTA 5 effects, and, and more interesting features. Also, I'll be showing you the proper way to install these mods into your GD San Andreas, including those sexist graphics and many more features that I just told you a few seconds ago and with all of this mod combined you will not only get the best visuals but also you will get the best gameplay experience in fact in some cases this mod looks way better than gta 5 just look at this point it's looking insane isn't it but hey hold on it's time to answer your favorite question shall it work on low-end pc of course it does and with that said let's kick off the minimum system requirements to play this mod at 30 fps on very lowest setting well beginning with ram you will need at least 2 gb processor can be dual core in the presence of integrated graphics well if your pc fulfills this system requirements then you are good to go well i already talked too much let's be quiet and begin our video but before we do this video is sponsored by dlcmoney.xyz dlcmoney.xyz is the one of the best earning source from home you know so all you need to do is just create an account and this website pays you for watching ads you know so in order to earn money what you need to do is just go to your watching ad section and then from here you have to just solve captcha and once you solve captcha you will get 20 cents for per captcha so that's how you can earn a lot of money with a less tank. So what you need to do is just click on the description link and then you will be redirected to the website. Just create an account and earn money my friends. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started to the video guys. Alright my friends, so as you can see we are in our desktop screen and first thing you will need these three files. First one is your optional 2.0 folder, second one is your main graphics mod and third one is your retexture, right? Now, first of all, what you need to do is extract your optional 2.0 folder into your desktop or any specific folder you want to extract. Once your optional 2.0 folder has been extracted, then from here, simply just open your game directory. Okay, just hold on a second. Now, once your game directory has been opened, then from here, what you need to do is open your optional 2.0 folder and then simply open your Slio ESI Loader plus mod loader. And then from here, you have to just copy only these selected files. Please do not copy the rest of them or you will make your game crash. Okay, so please make sure to follow every step. Otherwise, if your game crashes, then I'm not going to reply you in a comment section. Okay, so once we have installed your Slio ASR Loader plus Mod Loader, then you have to go back. And then from here, what you need to do is you have to open your graphics fix. Right now, just copy these selected files into your game directory and and if these files got deleted then make sure to turn off your antivirus these are not wires these are just a config file you know now once you did then from here what you need to do is just minimize or close both of this window and then from here you have to extract your graphics mod folder right now just hold on a second now once your graphics mod folder has been extracted then simply open your game directory again and then from here Press Ctrl plus A and then just drag and drop all of these files into your game directory and then hit on replace if it asks. Okay, so we have successfully done with our graphics mode. Now it's time to install the retexture. So this retexture is Project Japan 3.1 and this is made by my friend Sergi Van DYK Mods. So his channel link will be in the description or I will mention him in the description or I will mention him in my title. Okay. You can go and subscribe him too. Okay, so once your project upon 3.1 has been extracted, then simply, as always, open your game directory and then the extracted folder. Once you did, then what you need to do is open your mod folder and then open your GT San Andreas, open your mod loader, and then simply just drag and drop project Japan 3.1 into your game directory and then hit on replace if it has. Okay, so my friend, we have successfully installed our mod into a game directory. Now, all we need to do is just run enb.exe from your GT Surrenders menu. Okay, now many of you are thinking, how can we get this enb.exe? Well, you don't need to worry about it. Just open my optional 2.0 folder again and then you will see the 
env.exe game not starting or any error right now all you need to do is just drag and drop env.exe into your game directory and then just run your env.exe as run as administrator and then your game will 100% start just wait and watch Alright my friends so as you can see our game has been successfully opened but not fully now from here what you need to do is just open new game a load game whichever you would like. Alright my friends so as you can see we are in our game the quality of the gun is too amazing you know so let's go outside and figure it out what happened right now just hold on a second okay alright my friends so as you can see we are in our game and our graphics looks too awesome isn't it. Now let me see, just hold on a second. For me, this time looks awesome, right? Now you will see the ragdoll animation, you know. It's really amazing, isn't it? Even as you can see, guys, our AK-47 has also better textures, you know. And it's looking too awesome. And when you fire with your AK-47, oh my gosh, just look at this beautiful animation, isn't it? Now I just wanna kill this guy. Now even if you fire from your sniper then the crosshair is completely replaced and it's looking too awesome isn't it? Oh my gosh. Now if you want to enable your shadows then what you need to do is just hit shift plus F8 and then as you can see this is the shadow on you know and it's looking too awesome. Now one more feature I would like to say with you you know just hold on a second first of all I need to spawn car. Okay, so as you can see, our vehicle has also replaced and it's looking too awesome, isn't it? Now, let me show you a feature. Just look at this beautiful blasting effect, guys, and look at the beautiful sun flare. It's looking too awesome, isn't it? So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much for today. Thank you so much for watching till then. I hope you all enjoyed this video. So, if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to leave a like on this video. So, yeah, as always, I'll see you until the next one. Till then, goodbye. Shoes is tight right there. Said jury.